Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are happy and healthy. Children, as you all know, we are doing writings. And in the series of writings, we are going to start today story writing. Our topic is today story writing children. Story writing, as you all know, everybody heard about that and many of you have already learned some stories. But stories, there are some rules of writing a story and you can say some uh, important things that today I'm going to tell you that uh, these things should be there whenever you are writing write, story. So children. Let's start. I'm going to tell you some important point that is essential for story writings. So children, essential for story writing. I'm going to Right over here, few points that we should always learn because this is very important for you whenever you are writing story. So children, the plot and the main theme of the story should be good and clear. The first essential thing which is important for uh, story writing that is the plot and the main theme. Your theme and plot must be clear and very good with a very good moral. Now the second thing, the setting of the story should be clearly indicated and the character should be described well. What is your theme? What you are going to tell to your readers or your uh, listeners who are going to listen your story? That is very important. So your theme and the setting, your plot should be very clear and good. And the second thing is the setting of the story. So if it is uh, you are taking a topic from the ruler area or you are taking any um, story of you can say you would like to tell to the children. So these type of the story when you are going to take. So your plot and the setting should be very clear and good and uh, should be clearly indicated and characters should be uh, de described well. It means whenever you are writing a story, your characters, uh, before going to start the story, you should uh, describe a character in a well uh, manner because uh, when the reader, because this is the star, uh, short story writing, so that is why the reader is not able to understand what you, are, you want to tell. So that is why your character should be described well before you are going to narrate a story. So children, uh, the third point is, I am going to write on the board, that is, you may add interesting details. Now, you may add interesting details. It means you should create an interesting story. Whenever the teacher or in your book it is given, already given outlines of the story, so you should, uh, whenever you are writing a story, you should describe well. It is not only fill in the blanks if the outline is given. So you are not going to only fill in the, you are not going to do fill in the blanks, but you should describe well. It means the character you should describe well and the second part you may add interesting detail. It means you just uh, make it interesting. Suppose if it is written there was a king. So you should give a name of a king and you should write something about the king, how its behavior, how its nature and uh, what is the uh, qualities of his administration. These type of the thing you should mention over here and then you just uh, go inside the story and just carry on. 
So these things are very important whenever you are writing a story. The first thing that is the plot and the main theme of the story should be good and clear. And the second thing is the setting of the story should be clearly indicated and the character should be described well. It means whatever your setting of the story should relate to the character of the story and the theme of the story. Otherwise, the story is worthless. So now you are moving to the you may add interesting detail. It means here you should add some interesting detail. You just create a series of interesting, uh, you can say the matter or you can just create a um, mystery or some uh, uh, hilarious part you can add over here. It should be, your story should be humor is also you just add some jokes and the dial dialogues uh, whenever you are going to create a story the dialogue should be very interesting so these type of the thing whenever you are writing a story this these are the important part of the story now i'm going to tell you this a uh, fourth point which is very essential for story writing and the fourth point is a cloud of mystery or suspense in the story so a cloud of mystery and suspense. So children, this is very important because uh, whenever you are writing a story, you should create an interesting way. That is why it is written that a cloud of mystery and suspense. You just create it. If this topic is given that uh, <clears throat> there was a man, he found a goose. It means in between, you just add on something. You just create a uh, interesting thing that uh, uh, he was a farmer, his name was this, this, this. And he went somewhere and one day he found a lady who was sitting beside the tree and when um, she said that I am hungry that the that farmer had given something and in in return he gave the she gave the old lady gave a uh, goose so this type of the story this type of the interesting uh, matter you just add on in your story the starting of the story or you can uh, move on in the story in the middle part of the story you just create a suspense or a mystery so that is very important for you now I'm going to tell you fifth point about the story writing that is the expression of the writer should be good now the expression expression of the writer should be good. Children, as it is clear to you that expression, whatever expression is uh, the writer is writing inside, the expression is important. Suppose the writer is writing a dialogue. Okay, children. So dialogue should be expressed well. If you are showing your anger, so your dialogue must be written in this way, in that way. If you want to express your sorrow or grief, so your uh, dialogue must be written in a manner of grief or sadness. So if you want to uh, crack a joke or uh, some funny things you just want to add inside this dialogue. So you, the writer should be uh, expressed each and every aspect of the story well. Otherwise, your story uh, may be very uninteresting for the readers. So this is very important whenever you are writing a story. These are the points which is essential for a story writing. First is the plot and the main theme of the story should be good and clear. And the second thing, the setting of the story should be clearly indicated and the character should be described well.
otherwise the reader maybe he would not able to understand what you want to tell what is the moral inside of the story so here and you may add interesting details this is very important and a cloud of mystery and suspense or you can say some humorous thing you can add on now the expression of the writer should be good if you are writing a story so your expression should be good good means uh, you have to express well or whatever you are feeling uh, if suppose you are just taking a thing about honesty so you should express well through the dialogues through the plot what is honesty in the little things you can show the honesty suppose if you want to uh, express the truthfulness so truthfulness should be shown in that characters and whatever you want to describe in the characters it should be clear or it should be uh, related with that theme also so title and the theme must be there and the two important thing which i am going to tell you that is the title of the story and the moral of the story whenever you are writing a story or short story so you should always be very very particular about your theme it means what is your theme according to that your uh, topic must be there and then the according to the theme your moral should be there so these are the two important things and now here you can write down or these are the essential you should go through and write a story on this consider these points now children i would like to tell you few more points suppose some outlines are given in your exam or in your uh, class work so th- if the teacher is giving you some outline of the story you must consider these points which i am going to write on the board that first point is read the outline read the outline carefully okay children read the outline carefully and try to understand the main plot and try to understand main plot that is very important if you are writing a story so you must understand the outline and you read it carefully otherwise you will miss something so children whenever the outlines is given to you so you should go through read this carefully because and try to understand main plot if the outline is given to you so you should go through the outline read it carefully and try to understand the main plot so if outline is given four three lines are given so you should go through you should read carefully because of these uh, given uh, outlines are very important for narrating a story and in between you just create something interesting now the second point that is used all the points use all the points it means don't miss any line okay if one line is given there was a king so if the second line is given that his uh, son the prince went for the hunting in between there is a space and you should create something which is not written in the outlines 
but your theme and your line should be in sequence. Otherwise, you will be missed. So these are the important point. And the third point is uh, all the points should be linked. All the points should be linked. Okay, children, this is very important for you. Whenever you are writing a story, all points should be linked. You don't mash up everything in a story. You just go sequence wise. If the first line is written, there was a king. So you should add on something and then narrate second outline. So you just go inside the story sequence wise. Whatever the outline is given, you should go through and you should write in a sequence. Otherwise, your story cannot reach its destination or whatever you want to tell to your readers that I don't think it was, it will be clear. So children, all the points should be linked because if the outline is given, so this is very important. It means the teacher wants uh, that you should write the story in sequence wise. Otherwise, uh, what happened whenever you are writing your own story and you are uh, not aware about these outline given, so your marks will be cut. So be each and every uh, read each and every point which are given by the teacher or the examiner and you should go through with this, read the outlines carefully and use all the points and the third part is all the points should be linked. So that is very important. Now I'm going to write few. Uh, next point you can say the, exp <coughs> the expression of the writer should be good. Suppose outline is given and you just writing just like a fill in the blanks. So that will not working. So always remember whenever you are uh, writing a story on the basis of the given outline, so you should create a sequence. Sequence it is given, but you should create a interesting, uh, you can say series, whenever you are linked up with the given outlines. So this is very important. Whenever you are writing a story, you should be very careful about outlines of the story and use all the points. Don't miss any points. And now all the points should be linked. And fourth point, the expression of the writing should be good. Otherwise, if your expression is not good at, at all, so the reader must be bored. So always remember, whenever you are writing a story, your story should express well. Now, a proverbs, a proverbs or idiom or idioms uh, may be used as the may be used as the title okay children this is very important whenever you are writing a story your uh, you should give a title which attracts someone who is going to read your story so readers must be attracted by your title okay so if a story you are just starting a story you should give a title no pain no gain or or anything whatever you want to write so according to the theme according to the plot of the story you should give a title and then you just carry on your points and describe 
well. Now, the proverbs and idiots may be used. So, you can use these are the important points which are which I would like to discuss with you that I already discussed, and these points must consider whenever you are writing a story. Because if you will miss something, so your story would not be able to convey your thought, your expression, and your theme or moral. So whenever you are writing a story, children, always remember your theme must be clear in your mind and your plot, whatever the plot you are just creating. So your plot should be good. And whenever the outline is given, so you just go through the outlines, read it carefully and linked up in a sequence. And describe well your characters, your dialogues, whatever you want to convey to the readers, it should be described well. Otherwise, nobody will take interest in your story. Because short story is not a novel. It's not having any part that you second part, third part, fourth part, or you just carry on your characters and uh, theme. It is not like that. If you are writing a short story, you should be in a very concise way. And you should develop your writing skill. Otherwise, the reader would not be able to understand what you are, what you would like to convey to him. So, this is, uh, you can say, a challenge for you whenever you are writing a short story and on the given topics and the outline if it is given. So, it is a challenge for you. So, describe well and write an interesting story. Now, children, we are going to practice uh, on, the, um, I'm going to write few lines, outlines, and on that we will start a story. So children, let's start. So children, I'm going to write few lines. King Solomon King Solomon <clears throat> King Solomon well known for his wisdom For his wisdom, now his fame reached the Queen of Sheba. Sheba. Queen of Sheba, Queen of Sheba wanted to test his power of judgment. Wanted to test his power of judgment. And now next line is paid a visit. Paid a visit. Now next line is presented two identical garlands of roses. Presented two identical two identical Garlands of Roses of Roses One was artificial 
bovine was artificial and while another was real while another was real asked him to identify asked him to identify the garland with real flower with real flower okay children king solomon king solomon ordered his attendants ordered his attendants to open all the window all the windows of the court room of the court room now bees swarmed in form bees swarmed in from the garden from the garden and sat on the real flower now here children here you can see these lines are given to you now here you just add few interesting thing because outline is given and this story is very famous as you all know so children here first line is king solomon well known for his wisdom now you can write the era when he was born he was a uh, son of david so you just write down because this david was a chosen king by the god and uh, he was uh, um, took by the god uh, on the basis of his purity and his wisdom and his fear of god that is the main characters of the king david so you just write down something about king david and after that solomon solomon you just few uh, um, lines for introduction of king david because he was the son of king david he was a prince of israel so you just write down over there and then you just go to the main character you just described well the main character because he was the son of king david he was a chosen one and this person was also chosen by god almighty god and that is why he was well known for his wisdom because everything and he was really really uh, was a very very you can say the richest person on this earth because god had chosen him that is why all the uh, property and wealth everything he was blessed with wisdom also because uh, without uh, wisdom he was worthless that is why he was blessed with wisdom that is why he was well known for his wisdom he is frame reached or uh, to queen of sheba because he was 
very famous the judgment of uh, solomon was famous that is why he was famous for that and wanted to uh, test his power of judgment okay now paid a visit presented two identical gardens garlands so these points you should narrate in your own word and one thing which is very important for you that your english must be in a very simple language you should write this story and second thing because story always you will write in the past tense so that is very more important whenever you are narrating these points you should use past tense otherwise present tense if you are writing so it will be incorrect so children always remember whenever you are writing few points we have already discussed essential point that you should always always consider whenever you are writing story so children all the best write down this story and in your own word so i have given already an introduction about king david and solomon so you just go through the lines read this carefully and write this story this is your homework so children we will meet again till then bye bye and take care